What we're here for today, or the senator was here today, gracious enough to come, was to uh, view the fire that, uh, uh, well, has hit western Kansas in general and Ellis County, including that, and the devastation it had on the livestock and farming and our cattle within Ellis County and, and the infrastructure damage that it's caused. And I also want to give a big thanks to our first responders, specifically our firefighters out there. We're, we're thankful that for the most part, most people were not hurt. Uh, we did did have a fatality within our community and, and obviously some uh, large amounts of acreage damage, but we're in the process of rebuilding now. No one likes to admit this, but we were successful in getting a agriculture, farmer, and rancher mental health hotline, and there's opportunities for people who need to have that kind of conversation. Uh, we just went through this with the Toma and the flood not very long ago, and um, my, my point is to be here to make sure that I know what's going on and figure out if there's ways that uh, Moran and the rest of the Kansas congressional delegation can be of help to try to make this better than what it is. Kansas is always has, has wind, but this was different even for Kansas. 60, 70, 80 miles an hour, sometimes 100 mile an hour winds. That's bad enough itself, but you add fire to that equation and you've got real problems. So while it's a difficult circumstance and nothing can take that away, this is another day in which you see why it's good to be a Kansan. Uh, we were in towns that are pretty small, but they had lots of people there to help them. And they had lots of supplies from food at the church to uh, hay and grass being shipped in so that the remaining cattle have something to eat.